Okay friends, to get started on our crank position sensor, which is located right on the front passenger side of the engine, we're going to have to remove our serpentine belt. Use my serpentine belt tool. Let's pry down on this to relieve tension. And then we'll just get the belt right off of the AC compressor. Leave this right up there and set this aside. Now from on the passenger side, in between your power steering rack and your differential, if you come right up here, you're going to be able to see where your AC compressor connector is. You'd want to squeeze in the little tab and then remove that. There we are. Check it to make sure you don't see any funny colors, and then we're going to move along to removing our mounting bolts. You're going to find three. Two along the bottom, one right here, one right there, and then one located up higher right there. Let's remove those bolts. Okay. Now that we have the AC compressor loose and able to move around, we can remove our crank position sensor. Let's remove our one 8mm mounting bolt. Now that that screws out, just wiggle it around, try to break it free. If you need to pry a little bit, you can use a screwdriver. You just want to be careful not to break the sensor off inside the engine. There we are. At this point, we have easy access to try to disconnect this. I'm just going to grab that squeeze tab, pull it right off. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's time to get our new crank position sensor inside the engine. Before you do that, just apply a thin amount of engine oil just around the gasket right there. That's going to help it slide into the engine. Just give this a little wiggle. Should want to pop right in. Let's put in this mounting bolt. We'll snug it and then we'll torque it to 89 inch pounds. There we are. Let's get our connector in. Make sure it clicks. All right, now we're going to start in all of our bolts. We'll snug them and torque them to 18 foot pounds. Let's connect in our AC compressor. There we are. Make sure it clicks. Give it a nice wiggle. That feels great. Let's get our serpentine belt back on here. Okay. Just make sure it's sitting inside all the grooves going around all of your pulleys. This looks good. Get my tool out of here. Okay friends, now that your crank position sensor is in there, the next thing you want to do is start up the truck and you want to pay attention to make sure you don't have a check engine light. If you do, maybe you left something unconnected. Aside from that, take it for a road test, down the road you go.